right now you're kidding me This man, I swear, he just be. All right, I'm about to go and grab me some breakfast real quick, and then I'm gonna come back and play around with this thing because y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all. I... Hey Bettleways, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and we are here on another weekend. It is Saturday. It is Saturday and I woke up a little bit late today, around nine something, I think I showed y'all that a little bit earlier. But today is honestly a pretty gloomy day outside. Like it's been raining. Look at the sky, it still looks so sad. <laughs> and it's been raining all night. Sam can't make up her mind on whether or not she wanna go out. She probably don't because her paws keep getting wet. I'm cold, so she's keep coming back in. Sam, Sam, it's cold. Are you cold? Anywho, guys, today is turning out to be a good day because let me back up a little bit. So I woke up this morning and everything is pretty good. It's still, like I said, it's still super gloomy outside, but um, I'm supposed to be working on some projects today. So these things over here, as well as these mirrors back here and then I have two mirrors upstairs that I'm gonna I want to do a little something something too so I need to bring those back downstairs and put them in a garage because I think that's where I'm gonna do everything but I'll tell y'all a little bit about that later when I start but y'all I woke up I'm heading outside because I need to get my breakfast I leave outside and I have a package and I'm like okay I didn't order anything and I'm sitting there looking at the, the package and I'm like hmm I don't know but it has my new last name so it says andrea augustine on there and i andrea stuck so i'm like oh hubby must have sent this this must be the stuff that you know he sent me but i was wondering why it's coming from a memphis address y'all i opened that package oh, my dream stethoscope y'all this man done went and bought me my dream stethoscope and i am i'm just so grateful for him i am so grateful for him i like this having this and him doing that for me means a lot because i have finally got back into a place where i feel good i feel healthy and i'm back motivated so i'm applying for nursing schools again but i also made up my mind that i want to go ahead and take the tmc to get my re uh, respiratory therapy um, certification as well so i really been studying for that i am in a new position i'm at a new job i'm actually on a floor in a hospital working as a respiratory therapist and i am loving what i'm doing like i'm in a good place right now so him getting me this 
it's just i love how in full support he is of me and it's funny because we were talking and i'm like hey you know i need that stethoscope because i did do a few um i had to run down to the er a few times for some traumas and i didn't have my stethoscope but i had to use one of the other um rt stethoscope to like listen for some breath sounds and so when i caught him i'm like hey i need that stethoscope if you're not using it and um I was telling him that I was gonna order one actually. You know what, that's what I was doing. I'm like, oh yeah, I have to order one because I was gonna order a step. Y'all, hold on. <clears throat> I'm not sick or anything, but because I live by myself right now, I don't talk a lot in the house. If I'm talking, it's to Sam, so I don't really say much. So yesterday after work, I kind of went that whole day without talking or saying anything. And now this morning, I went the whole morning without really saying anything. <laughs> and now that I'm talking, my vocal cords are probably like, whoa, what are you doing? Whoa. Anyway, so I told him that I was going to order a stethoscope off of Amazon. And he's like, why would you do that? Like, I can send you the one that's here. Like, it's not like I'm about to use it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. But in my head, I was honestly like, oh, maybe I just should still order it because I need something right now but then i was have to think logically like okay he's going to send that one and i'm going to order one they either way they still have to be shipped it's not like i'm going to have it right now you know so he said he was going to send it in the mail and so he sent a box of like my some of my workout stuff that i left at his house that i need because y'all about to get back in the gym um he sent me some of that stuff but this so i'm like okay what is this package that's why i didn't know what this was y'all i open it up and it's my dream stethoscope it's my dream stethoscope. And it's funny because I was telling him, he was like, oh, that stethoscope is so expensive because I sent the one that I was going to buy to him. He's, it was like over $100. And he's like, that is so expensive. Do not buy that. I'll send you the one that's here. Like, do not buy that stethoscope. And I'm like, fine, whatever. Okay, I won't buy it. And so he's like, I'm like, but you should see the one that I really want. Like, you should see my dream stethoscope. You're talking about this is expensive. That one is way more expensive. And he's like, what? Ain't no way. Send it to me. Let me see it. And so I sent it to him. And I specifically said, I want the one with the rainbow bell. And y'all, he sent it to me. Y'all, this man. I, I have it charging over there right now. But I have to download the app because I want to do all the things with it. And... Isn't great. It's engraved. Where is it engraved? Where is it? I'm not seeing it. It says that it's engraved. And it says Trey's wife with a smiley face. Can y'all see that? So it says engraved, Trey's wife. Oh wait, maybe it's on. <gasps> there it is! Oh! <laughs> Y'all, that is so cute! Look at that. That is, come on. Like seriously? <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh. Okay, so I guess this is off. And that's on. So it's, I'll download the app and it's kind of just walking me through the prompts on how to use it. Okay, oh shoot. Okay, y'all, I am back. I won't lie, I got a little distracted. I saw a cute little dog just running around outside and Sam was looking at it like it lost his damn mind. But it was super cute. It was two of them out there. One of the neighbors were walking their dogs. One thing about it is a cute dog and a friendly dog, I gotta touch it. Anyway, so I was just comparing my two stethoscopes though because I have this one now and my baby. So, um, so this stethoscope, I never had any complaints with this. So this was actually my first stethoscope. This is the stethoscope I bought myself when I first got into the second phase of the nursing program, of the LPM program that I was in. Because if you don't know, now you know I'm also an LPN and now I'm a respiratory therapist. Still getting ready to take my test, but I graduated from school. I have my degree, so whatever. Anyway, um, so this is the first that the scope. It was just the regular Lithman with the, um, if you can see that, it decides to focus with the champagne bell. And look how pretty that is. So yeah, this was my 
first steps my first stethoscope and I actually gave this one to Trey um, when I got into the respiratory therapy program and I, I use I just use one of the um, respiratory therapy school stethoscopes because one they had Lithman's and two I don't want to buy anything else until I was able to afford this y'all I've had this stethoscope saved in my like you know how you can like leave a um, a web page open on your phone and then you just have multiple web pages. This was always the first page that's open on my phone and it's been there for over a year because I'm like, I want that stethoscope and when I buy it, then I'll delete it. Then I'll take it out of my phone. Y'all, it's just crazy that he bought this for me. Anyway, so with this stethoscope, right? I never had any complaints. It's a really good stethoscope. You can hear everything really well. Breath sounds, everything is so clear. Like this is such a good stethoscope. The only complaint that I had, well, the one the one con is when I would have to squeeze this in a little bit to give it that noise canceling so I can actually hear without all the outside noise. But that was the only thing. Other than that, I love the stethoscope, still do. I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna find some use out of it because my goal right now, what I'm working towards is I want to be dual employed. I want to be employed as a respiratory therapist and as a nurse, so, and I am, applying to nursing schools. I'm studying right now to take my TMC because I wanna get high cut, I want my RT, but I'll t I'll, I don't wanna bore you with my goals and, ab and, and admirations, abish, abish, ab I don't know. Anyway, so I love that stethoscope. And this is my new stethoscope. And this is the one, this is the core stethoscope. Um, and as you can see, the cardiology bell is the rainbow bell. That's the one that I wanted. It has this little thing that's kind of in with the tubing. I think that's like the remote, the amplifier. And then obviously the earpiece. Now, the one con so far, the one con I have about this stethoscope is that it could be like an inch or two longer. Um, sorry y'all, I'm burping. I ate those freaking um, hash browns, anyway. So this is the top of both stethoscopes. And this part down here is the end. And obviously, as you can see, the older stethoscope, well, the regular stethoscope is like an inch or two longer, which isn't bad. It's, it's not bad. That's just the one con that I have. I wish the two was a little bit longer, but it's not bad because I mean, if you're checking breath sounds, if you're checking um, heart sounds, abdominal sounds, um, whatever the case may be, bowel sounds. If you're checking that stuff, you're close to your patient anyway, so it really don't make a difference. I just kind of, it could it could feel just a little bit awkward having it hang, which again, don't look bad, right? Because I don't know what y'all do in y'all hospitals, but we're allowed to do this um, compared to the way this one hang, so it's a little bit more secure. So that's the only con. I like this because it kind of automatically does that noise canceling thing that I do when I have to squeeze it in. It kind of automatically does that when it's off. So this is this is off mode. This is the remote. When you push this in, it's on mode. This light comes on and then you, it can connect to Bluetooth and all that stuff. But when you turn it on, it kind of just amplifies the sound, which for me, I feel like that's going to be a game changer because I don't know if you if you're a nurse if you're a medical like respiratory therapy if you work in those type of fields and you've been to a trauma in an emergency room you know it can get loud you know it can get really loud and so having that where having this where I can amplify the sounds that I am trying to listen to focusing on my piece of this trauma um, that is going to be a game changer yes it has noise canceling but I will say I do have to put this in my ears and pull it down a little bit. Like, if that makes any sense like this. But it's no big deal because you just throw them on and I'm usually on my patient. Pull this down, listen, listen, whatever the case may be. So it's not a big deal. Kind of the same thing I was doing with that when I, have, when I would have to squeeze it. But this is I love it. I love it so much. But I'm about to go ahead and throw this on the charger and wait for my husband to call so I can really express my appreciation, y'all, because 
Oh gosh, it's so crazy. But I gotta start working on this stuff. I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. And I almost forgot he bought the case. He bought the case that goes to it. A little message on the case. Oh, this smells so new. And then, oh, that's perfect. And then you just put it in there to store it away, which is really gonna come in handy. Like if y'all understood what I am up to, if y'all understood the grind that I am under right now, y'all would know how big of a deal that this is for me because y'all, yeah, I just, I got big plans for my career, especially when it comes to being a nurse on top of being a respiratory therapist. Yeah, I got big plans for myself. So, um, but yeah, I'm about to go ahead and I'll be right back. I'm, I got to start on these little projects that I want to be working on, but let me charge my stethoscope and I'm going to be right back. All right, y'all, so I just finished with this area in the house, which I am so satisfied with. Look at that, empty. I just have to clear this thing off and take it upstairs because I think I'm gonna use that stand in Darion's room to hang up his clothes for the school week. Um, so yeah, I just gotta finish that. But other than that, this is done and it is 13.41. So I'm actually running late because my friend has a baby shower. You know, let me go upstairs. My friend's baby shower starts at two. So I have to go and actually, no, hold on. I got one more thing to do. Her baby shower starts at two. So I'm about to go ahead and freshen up, get dressed so I can head off to that. I do have to stop at the store because there's something that I wanted to grab her yesterday that I didn't get a chance to grab, but I'm sure it's still there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that Whew, and then head to her place. Um, but before I do that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop at Starbucks. So this shouldn't take me long at all, but I'ma see y'all when I get in a car. So I just finished getting ready. I just got dressed. Y'all, I put some makeup on. Like, who do I think I am? I haven't had on makeup in so long. But I wanna show y'all my outfit because it's, it's honestly not much at all. And no, this isn't a, a design on this shirt. It's just wrinkly. <laughs> but I have on this baby pink shirt because she's having a girl. And then it's backless. And then for my bottoms, hold on y'all. I have on these flare high waist, these flare bottom high waist jeans from um, Fashion Nova. And they are really long. Look at that. They are really long. These are, what are these? Cause somebody asked me about it earlier. It's the deep, deep in my soul deep in my soul flare jeans on fashion over and they're the high-waisted and these are in the light blue color so i really like these i honestly got these in so many colors white darkest blue medium blue and these light blue and then some khakis because i really like the way they fit because obviously you have the waist but they don't have that um it's it's super it's super stretchy so it don't have that little outing part that pokes out in the back right here so I really like that. Oh, let me show you my jacket. I found this Michael Kors jacket for like $50 at Ross. Yeah, I love Ross. But um, 
and y'all know i love me a good jean jacket so this is honestly what i am wearing and then i have my black kohan purse in the car and i'm gonna go ahead and wear that as well because i think i have to stop at i don't think i know i have to stop at the mall because what i do want to eat later is some mall food i want some there's this thai restaurant in the mall that i really like oh, i just realized i have all these nuggets right here there's this thai restaurant that i really like so i want to go and stop there and get some rice before i come home because i'm going to be studying a little bit later for this tmc <sighs> and we'll see how that goes but um i think i have everything that i need I like wearing my jackets like this a lot too. That's another reason why I got it a few sizes too big. Cause I like my jean jackets to be very, very oversized. And so I gotta get this trash bag because I have a bunch of trash in the car. I got my phone, I got my camera. Keys. Okay, hold on. Let me get situated for a second. Let me close this actually came out in just the right time because it is um is that shaking because y'all sometimes sometimes this be shaking when the car is on like that it's so irritating let me turn it off for a second i actually came out in just the right time because it just started raining but i am just throwing some stuff away before i take off look at this a passenger seat i got an old food container down there from yesterday because i ate lunch from the hospital cafeteria and yeah y'all i bought this cute little michael kors um perfume it's gonna sh so i bought this from ross for like 29 dollars smells so good but i also got this one for my grandmother because I have the perfume like this and I found the lotion so I got me a lotion upstairs and this was how much was this $29 I got the lotion upstairs and I got her this because I remember her saying that she likes lotions that smell really good so I got her that and I have to send it off to her at some point today so yeah right now I'm just trying to um on clean a little bit like why do i have a chicken nugget container sitting around like this like, come on it's so crazy why is my car what is that it's crazy that my car be this messy so often because i used to keep my car so clean all the time especially when i had the kids with me and it's so crazy that they're not with me right now and my car don't stay clean it's a shame. Where is it? I can go. This thing comes in handy when my car is really clean. What? Okay, I'm rushing. When my car is really clean, this thing comes in. When my car is really clean, this thing comes in handy. I want to say this was probably like around $50 to $60 on Amazon, I feel like. But I really like it. It actually works really good for what I need it for. This mess, it's not going to, no. I'm not going to even try to use it with this mess. But when my car is at its usual, it's very helpful. Hold on, y'all. Gotta call my man. Yes, my baby. What are you doing? Um, I gotta go to Ross real quick and grab something and then go to my friend's baby shower. Hmm. What are you doing? Thanks. The whole day planned over there. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't. I completely forgot about it. It started at 2 o'clock. I was cleaning the living room area. I cleaned that whole, like, every, like, that area I put all my stuff in when they bought the household goods. What you got going on over there? That's some sports package with the internet? Um, 
yeah it's the it's the internet what am i direct tv and i got the sports package with that all right well i guess when you get a chance uh can you send me like the login stuff so i can see if i can log into this thing yeah one something yeah so if hulu has that sports package i'll just upgrade hulu yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. I was just, just trying to log in. I was trying to see. I remember you said you had to call, like, Nietzsche's call or something. Okay. Well, take, a, take a look at Hulu for me and see if they have it, and I'll just upgrade it while I'm out. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, you okay. What'd you eat today? Yeah. And I Yeah, okay, so I just left the mall and I honestly picked up um, charms for me and Mia's bracelets. So I'm gonna show y'all what that is looking like. So I got me a stethoscope, which is super cute. Y'all look at that. Can you see that? I got this. It's gonna zoom. It's gonna it's gonna focus. Look at that. So I got me a little stethoscope for me, which is super cute. Look at that. Uh, and it got like a little diamond, like right there. So cute for. Mia, I got her, and I'm trying to remember all the charms that I got her at this point because I feel like I, it's, I don't know what I got her. I feel like, no, I think I got her mermaid, mermaid earrings in the necklace, so I should be good. But I got her this cute little Disney charm, and it's just a little mermaid, which is so cute. She is going to love that and so i'm gonna go ahead and send that off oh i'm dark <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and send that off when i send off my grandma's um lotion but for the little one that's coming i got this for my friend's baby and i'm about to head over to the baby shower now i'm y'all i'm so late i'm super late but um i ended up getting this hold on so one thing about me is when it comes to pandora i'm quick to get somebody a pandora bracelet just start off a pandora bracelet i usually try to get the um this one i didn't need the stoppers but i usually get them at least one stopper and a charm with the bracelet but this one um i didn't need to do that because it has these little things here and you know at some point you can still buy a little buy the stopper to add on to it hold on let me just take it off but yeah i got this is the bracelet it's gonna focus no maybe so this is the bracelet and y'all i got a piglet look at that a little pig piglet charm that is so adorable like that is the cutest thing and it's the smallest thing and of course it's going to be a newborn baby so she's not going to be able to you know wear it soon but i want to say mia was probably around three or four when her bracelet got started so um and she has a little one i actually need to see if it still fit her <laughs> oh wait i'm putting this in the wrong way i need to see if it still fit her i just think that's so cute and i think like especially little girls when they're when they're just walking around with their cute little outfit girly little outfit on and then they have a cute little pandora bracelet on i just think <laughs> it's so cute it's super cute um so her mom will be able to continue growing her bracelet and stuff like that but now i am heading to the baby shower and y'all i didn't even put it in the gps i don't even know where it's at hold on Raindrop, drip, drop top, drop top, smoking, no cooking, the hot box, cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, 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 cooking up dope in the crock pot, pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody, grit the trick, nobody. Call up the gang and they come and get jank. Cry me a river, give you a tissue. Hey. Bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Bah. My niggas are savage, ruthless. Savage. We got better than hundred rounds, too. My bitch is bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Dude. My niggas are savage, ruthless. Hey. We got better than hundred rounds, too. 
All set. Woo, 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 woo. Records on records, got back and some back and some riding around in a cool. I take your feet right from you. Bitch, I'm a dog. Beat down her walls, loose. Hop in the fall. I tell that bitch to come come for me. I swear these niggas is under me. The hate and the devil keep jumping me. Back rows on me, keep me covered. Hey, who did the most? Most, yeah. Pull up and go, yeah. My diamonds are choker. Holding up, I with no holster. Bring the ruler, diamond cooler. Cooler. This a roller, not a mule. Hey Battle Bays, what's up? It is the next morning and honestly, I'm looking a little crusty, but it's fine. At least I brush my teeth. I don't have to do much today. But um, yeah, it's Sunday. So that means I go back to work tomorrow. But um mm, sorry, I just stopped that. Oh jeez, I just showed y'all my mess. But um, yeah, y'all, I have a whole mess here because I ate some gushers and stuff last night. But um, yeah, I just stopped at did I say Walmart earlier? I just stopped at McDonald's so I can go ahead and get my hash browns. I got my orange juice. And then I think today I'm about to go ahead and do what I wanted to finish up or start on yesterday. And that sanding down that table, especially I want to get started on that one. But sanding down this table, I'm thinking I might even try to sand that one depending on how fast I'm working. And start getting the stain and stuff on. I still don't know how I want to do this though. I might do a few test runs because I don't know if I want to paint these or stain them. It just depends on, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I feel like I got a burp. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stain, start on those today. And I'm so excited to start on that project, y'all. I'm so excited. And then, honestly, probably just clean this area back up. And then, uh, yeah, it's not much to do, but start upstairs. It's, I'm not going to get much done upstairs because when I say I moved a lot of the stuff that was in that living room area over there, I moved it upstairs in my room because most of it was my clothes and stuff like that. So I don't know how far I'm going to get in that. I do want to kind of take out my clothes, go through like my older clothes and see what it is that I want to keep and start actually hanging stuff up. But I don't know, again, we'll see. But as far as I guess today, I want to say probably around, <clears throat> probably around seven o'clock because it's 10 o'clock in the morning right now. And I'm thinking around seven is when I'm going to actually start getting ready for this coming up work week. Um, because this is the week that I'm going to try my hardest to be back in the gym more consistently. Because, y'all, I like working out Monday through Friday. I have a, um, my split is Monday through Friday. Whatever. And I don't really work out on the weekends or anything. I like walks. But we'll see. I, I'm, I'm determined to make this coming up week one of my most organized weeks yet. Because, again, I'm still not in a routine or anything like that. So that kind of throws me off. I'm usually behind and stuff. But yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I want to do today. I want to finish straightening up this area and then start upstairs and start on that project. Yeah, so that's about it. At some point today, I'm going to try to sit down and really get some studying in. But um, at least 30 minutes worth. But yeah. But before my hash browns get cold. I'm about to finish eating my hash browns. I got three this morning and then watch some Bob's Burgers while I'm doing that. And yeah, I'm gonna see y'all when I start somewhere. We'll see. Where Jacob had either been punched, kicked, or stomped on, causing that tear in his stomach and bowel. From that traumatic bowel perforation, he developed a serious infection in the tissue that lines the inner wall of his abdomen. According to WebMD, the condition is treatable if taken care of quick enough. And the chances of surviving it depend on several variables, but the death rate can be as high as 40%. What mother is going to let a brand new man in her life treat her newborn baby like this? What sick pleasure did she get out of it? Gemma and Craig would text back and forth talking about bathing him in bleach. So you and your husband and three children? The two children stays. Okay, what's your next child, Steve? Well, this was a very small hole on the right 
Okay y'all, so I just finished cleaning. I lit the candle and everybody knows when you light the candle, that area is done. So I am done with the living room area. Everything's nice and clean. It's smelling so good up in here. This area is still a little bit empty, but honestly, when Trey comes, I'm thinking I'm gonna put his gaming desk and stuff over here. That way he can have like the sunlight and stuff in the, with the window if that's what he desires to do. The kitchen, I mean, Kitchen's so pretty empty. I still need to get a table and stuff like that, but the kitchen's clean. And I moved the mirror that was up against this wall and I put it, and this is the thing that I'm gonna put in Darion's room so that's not staying there. It's just a little storage for right now with all the stuff that I don't need. And so trying to figure out what to do with down here. But y'all look at this. So I put the mirror that was over there in here because i'm still trying to figure out what it is I, I think i finally come to a conclusion what i want this room to look like so this is the room from this way oh and my stands for upstairs for like my perfumes or whatever those finally came so i want to take those upstairs at some point and build those and see whether or not i need to keep them they're supposed to be really tall so i'm excited to see what they look like um but yeah this is the view from this way and then when you walk in the door, it's the view from this way. So the table that I'm about to um, restain is gonna go over here. I'm gonna paint that old um, gold mirror that I had and I'm gonna put it right on top. So that's what that area over here is gonna look like. But I'm thinking what I wanna do, cause I honestly want this to be kind of like a, a seating area, like no TV or anything in here, kind of like a seating area if I wanna come in here use my computer if this is the area you know darian of me want to come in help them with their homework i want this to be a nice comfortable area um let's see now what i'm about to do is i am about to first throw this away but then run outside and grab my little things that i got to sand down the table because i want to sand the table down at least i just want that part done Um, okay, so I got some, four of these little um, edge detailing, edge detailing the sander. What are, these are sanders, right? I got the, um, like these sheets of sanding um, papers. I have these paint rags from um, Lowe's because I guess that's how you put on the stain. What are you doing? She just climbed in this box behind me. Anyway, I have these rags because that's how you put on the stain. I got some masking tape, masking paper. And I grabbed, all right, so this is 
Okay, so this is the top coat for um, the stain. I guess, honestly, any of it, because I'm thinking I'm gonna stain both of those, but, um, well, all three of these. But yeah, this is the cover, the top coat or whatever. And then this is the stain. Now, he was, I was asking the guy, which honestly wasn't really interested in helping me, but um, I was asking him what gets as dark as possible, but I still wanted to see the wood grain in it. And he showed me this, and he said this is a true black, but it wasn't full coverage, so I should still be able to see like the wood grains and stuff underneath it, which that's kind of what I wanted, so I'm excited about that. I feel like the sanding it is gonna take me the longest, but let me go ahead. I want to, um... oh jeez. I want to eat something first, and I also want to upload this, um... what time is it? Where's my phone? Hold on y'all, let me get my life together for a second. All right. Okay, so it's 1340. So I want to eat something first, um, upload this video so I can send to Trey, and then get started because I feel like this is gonna be one of those projects that I kinda get lost in and lose track of time. So let me just do all this first. That's honestly why I wanted to clean first because I feel like this is gonna be fun for me and fun later, guys, fun later. But let me go ahead and do all this and then I'll see y'all when I get back in there. guys it is 16 51 it's almost five o'clock and i am in a garage spray painting stuff so this is the table now you know what i'm sorry y'all probably hear y'all probably hear my bob's burgers let me close this for a second so i'm spray painting and so far this is the table and it's actually really beautiful looking that looks so solid, it looks so perfect. I did want the grain look, and so I tried to use the stain, but it definitely was not staining dark enough, and I feel like it was because I didn't, um, I wasn't able to, uh, what is it, sand it deep enough, because like the edges, I was able to sand those really well, and that stained really, really well. But everything else just wasn't working out. I tried it quite a few times, it just didn't work, so. This is what I resorted to. It's just using the spray paint. And this is gonna look super pretty out there. The only thing is I wanted the spray paint for the mirrors. So I got this mirror over here. This is the circle mirror that I had in my bedroom when I was last here, as well as the mirror that I had hanging up by the front door in the apartment in Texas. And it has this gold rim. 
I saw one at Walmart with the black rim, but I figure since, you know, ultimately that's what I want, why not use this one and just paint this rim black? So that's what I'm doing. I ended up taping up the edge of the mirror and then I just put some masking paper over the center of it so I don't get paint on it. So hopefully this actually works and like it don't, you know, seep down somewhere in here. So I'm about to go ahead and try to paint that. And that should be the only other, this, this is the last thing that I'm gonna be painting today. And then I'm gonna let everything sit and dry. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started because honestly, I want, I want, I want to eat some food and sit down and do nothing. It's about to be five o'clock and um, I have to start getting ready for this next work week in a few hours and I kind of want to actually do things to myself. I didn't get a chance to study just yet so I might sit down and just go over some normal values and stuff like that. But yeah, today, this weekend, it was actually a really, really, really good weekend. Um, I have no complaints. I'm actually living for the weekends these days so I cannot wait for next weekend. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh. Y'all, I think next weekend my husband gets here. Oh my God, y'all don't understand. I miss this man so much. I can't wait until he's like just here. So yeah, I have to go and pick him up from Riley when he gets here. Y'all, I really hope this comes off my feet. Like it looks like my feet are filthy, but I promise you it's paint. But um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and do that. Probably grab some food or something and sit and watch a scary movie. I watched The Omen earlier and it was really, Omen, Omen? It was really good. But yeah, I'm gonna see y'all later on. This is the end of this video. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been seeing a lot of y'all walking around here on Fort Bragg, so if you see me, go ahead and say hi. Even if I don't look like I'm in the best mood for some reason, my face does that, especially with um, the Botox that I ended up getting. I didn't talk to y'all about that yet, but yes, I get Botox for my migraines. And so when it starts to wear off, <laughs> your, and I don't think they talk about this much, but when the Botox wears off, your um, paralyzed nerves kind of start to go crazy. So I'll feel it pulling down until my face automatically looks like this. And it only lasts for like 30 seconds and then it's better again, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see y'all in the next video. I'm about to finish spray painting this mirror and I'm gonna go ahead and see y'all in the next video. Bye. Send me your location, let's focus on communication cause I just need the time and place to come through. Send me your location, let's ride the vibration I don't need nothing enough to wait